Details on Christopher Nolan's 2026 movie starring Tom Holland are being kept under wraps, but the project already sounds more exciting than either of them doing a James Bond film. Following the announcement that Tom Holland will star in Christopher Nolan's next movie, the biggest question is now what the film will be about. Nolan is always very secretive with his projects, but one is for certain, his 2026 film won't be the Christopher Nolan Bond movie many have wished to see for so long. Nolan's name has been associated with the James Bond franchise for a long time, especially after he reinvented the Batman franchise in a way that even inspired the Daniel Craig Bond movies. However, it seems like Nolan still has plenty of other ideas that he wants to see made before, if ever, stepping into the Bond universe. Nolan's James Bond movie would be very different from the others in the series, and while this is exactly what the franchise needs to keep evolving into the future, now doesn't seem to be the time to make that happen. Christopher Nolan and Tom Holland were popular suggests to work on James Bond's next movie. Nolan seems to be happy doing his own thing. At least five realistic next James Bond candidates starred in the same Christopher Nolan movie custom image by Simone Ashmore. Both Christopher Nolan and Tom Holland are huge Hollywood stars, and given their existing bodies of work, their names were always associated with the future of the James Bond series. While Nolan has a very distinct style that's different from anything Bond has done before, movies like Inception and The Dark Knight prove that he knows exactly how to tell grounded, exciting stories with elements of espionage to keep audiences engaged. He would certainly give his own twist to the series, but there's no denying that he'd be extremely capable. Although many believe that Tom Holland is too young to play James Bond, the actor has plenty of roles under his belt that have proved how capable he would be. Uncharted was a perfect example of this, as his character was frequently compared to a younger version of Bond with all the macho bravery and witty quips. This was likely the role that first convinced audiences he'd be perfect for the job, but he's since continued this trend with increasingly mature, complex roles that have allowed him to drift away from the family-friendly nature of his Spider-Man role. Christopher Nolan and Tom Holland are better off without rebooting James Bond. The franchise can wait a while before a reboot. While it may have felt like the stars were aligning for Nolan and Holland to work together on a James Bond reboot, their collaboration turned out to be something else altogether. This is likely for the best, as the idea of another Nolan original film after the success of Oppenheimer starring a great cast sounds incredibly exciting. Following the dramatic ending of No Time to Die, there's no easy way for the next Bond movie to explain the character's tragic death without simply rebooting the franchise. This is a narrative obstacle that both Nolan and Holland are better off avoiding Tom Holland can also benefit from doing a major original movie instead of joining another franchise. Whereas his Spider-Man run has been incredibly successful, No Way Home grossed over $1.9 billion worldwide, projects like Uncharted, Chaos Walking, and The Crowded Room all received fairly mixed reviews, despite Holland's reliably impressive performances. In addition to the confirmed Spider-Man 4, what the actor needs right now is a strong, original role, not another enormous franchise. Christopher Nolan's mystery movie can be bigger for him and Holland than James Bond 2. The auteur filmmaker is a huge Hollywood draw. Killian Murphy as J. Robert Oppenheimer, from Oppenheimer Custom Image by Yida Chacon. While James Bond might seem like the bigger, more successful property on paper, there's a real possibility that Nolan's upcoming project could prove even more lucrative for Holland's career in the long run. The filmmaker is coming off an impressive winning streak, with Oppenheimer's commercial achievement pushing his name into the spotlight once more, not to mention his recent Academy Award victory. Where James Bond movies can often be hit or miss, Nolan is a hugely reliable director who has almost become a franchise of his own. James Bond is undeniably a big box office draw, but Nolan has repeatedly proven throughout his career that he doesn't need existing properties to ensure the success of his movies. Some of his most beloved projects are those based upon original ideas, such as Inception, The Prestige, or Tenet. Oppenheimer's success proved that there's still room for non-IP stories to become as successful as franchise films, and Nolan's next project will likely continue that trend.